Congratulations, Erica Slezak. On March 17th, Erica Slezak celebrated her 40th anniversary as Victoria Lord Davidson on One Life to Live. Here's to you, Erica. Tells me y'all are gonna just uh, hightail it out of here after the big celebration. Mm, I hope so. Well, not a moment too soon either. And after that, things will get back to normal around here, all right, darling? You better believe it. You know, you don't look too shabby yourself. Mm -hmm. What do you think, sweetheart? Should we uh, let him ride up with us in the limo? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to thank you, but I have to uh, drive my own car. I've got to pick up Delilah. Oh, really? I figured she'd just uh, go with Asa. Yeah, well, she would if I hadn't invited her. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, I'll bet she was delighted and surprised when you asked her. As a matter of fact, it surprised me, too. Uh, and I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about oh. this. You know, I know, really, it's like it's my first date with this woman. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to take the dog back. Right. Yeah, nine o'clock. Uh, you said you wanted to start promptly. All oh, right, okay. right. Thank you very much. Shall we start distributing this? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, what you do this? Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening and welcome to the Banner's 50th anniversary banquet. Oh. I can't tell you how delighted we are to have you all here with us this evening especially our guests up here on the dais. And I think that the person who would be most pleased with this very distinguished gathering is the man whose portrait you will find inside your souvenir program. A man who bought the banner when it was bankrupt and about to cease publication, who turned it around and built it into one of the most respected newspapers in this entire country. I am speaking, of course, of my very beloved father, Victor Lord. Your souvenir program is being distributed to you right now, and I think you'll find it very interesting. It contains some excerpts from some of my father's work. It contains uh, some of the more outstanding editorials that he wrote together with a short biographical sketch and a chronology of the milestones of his career as editor and publish publisher of The Banner. I could, I could speak at great length, of course, about his many achievements, but my very good friend, Harry O'Neill, has given me what I think is the very best illustration of Victor Lord's incisive thinking, and I quote, Victor Lord was concerned with the individual, with the worker. He understood that it was not the president and the board of directors who run a company and who make it successful, but, but rather it was the cooperative effort of all the employees together. In short, without that, without very high morale, there could be no no progress and no achievement could be attained. I think, as, as most of you know, Harry O'Neill worked very closely with my father at Lord Manning for many, many years, and we will hear from him in just a few short moments. But uh, to continue the program for this evening, I would at this point 
like to introduce to you... I, I'm sorry, I, I would like to introduce to you... What is going on? What is this? right out in the lobby. I can see that you're not disturbed Thank there. You. Is that okay? Please, take me there. Only somebody has to make an announcement of some sort to, to make it. sure that... No, darling, you can make it. I need you with me. Please, I need you to help me decide what to say. Uh, Clint, I'll, um, I I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Thank you, Jenny. Just, just tell them to stay, and I'll be back. That's fine. No, I'll, I'll tell everybody to stay, okay? It's gonna be fine. Thank you. Come on. Let's check out the kitchen door. That way you won't have to fight to your crowd. Thank you. I'm glad the people stayed. Let's see. Just a moment. She's, she's going to tell her what you're doing. Oh, are you kidding me? What's you got on the ropes? Just keep them guessing. What guessing? They'll think I did this. Sorry. All right. All right. If you want, then I will. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your kindness and your patience. When I was wondering how on earth I could possibly come back here and face all of you, I was reminded of a, a terrible old cliche, really. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. <laughs> but I also reminded myself that I am among friends here. Not only my friends, but the friends of my dear father. And these are not people who will be stampeded easily by scurrilous rumors and baseless charges. Therefore, before we continue the program, I would like to make a statement. <clears throat> the letter that was surreptitiously placed in your programs is quite possibly a fraud. I have to qualify that statement because at this point, I'm not really sure Neither are we sure who placed the letter in the programs. And I make no accusations. However, when and if the truth can be ascertained, I promise you that I will be as public with this information as this person has been with his or her allegations. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate your understanding. 
And now it is my very great pleasure to introduce to you a man who was a lifelong friend of my father's, who has a record of distinguished service to not only to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, but to the entire nation as well. And I'm, I'm quite sure that you will agree with me. I just want to hurt me. When I... I have to talk to you. Tina, what are you doing? Why are you wearing that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't come here. I forgot. Come here. Come here. So, come here. You did that, didn't you? And now you're not satisfied with that, but you want to come up here and parade yourself around up here on these days? No, Tina, I, 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 no, I, I, I won't allow that. that. Ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. I'm afraid I'm going to have to amend my earlier remarks. It's very clear to me now, the letter is, in fact, an out-and-out -out fraud. It is a monstrous defamation of my father's character. And this, this person that you see standing next to me right here is not, and I repeat not, she is not Victor Lord's daughter, nor is she my sister. She is simply an opportunistic, lying, self-seeking little... Oh. 